everybody, I hope you find yourselves well. I just came back from uh, shipping some clothing for work. I was, uh, was selling some eBay stuff, and I figured I'd pop into a couple charity shops, see what was up, and I wanted to show what I got for under $30. I usually set myself a $20 limit. Uh, so I ended up getting a couple Blu-rays, Moonrise Kingdom, heard good things, it's quirky, it's got that Wes Anderson thing, because it's Wes Anderson, so I'm sure he captures his vibe pretty well in this one. Uh, Muppet movie, The Muppets, uh, I like Jason Segel, and you know what, I'm not gonna pretend like The Muppets didn't leave an impact on me in, in my childhood. Um, let's see, same shop, I found two copies of uh, Pro Evolution Soccer, they came out to like think a dollar or something like that. Uh, I'm not really a huge soccer fan, but I think I'm just going to bundle them, sell them on eBay, and then hopefully that'll cover the cost of what I spent here in some way or another. And then uh, it's crazy, but within a week of getting Blazing Angels 1, I found Blazing Angels 2 at the same spot. It might have been donated at the same time and I didn't see it, but uh, it was there on the shelf this time and also discounted uh, from $399, 75% off. Uh, or more. Sometimes they give me a little bit of an extra discount. I don't know if it's because I'm regular or if their scanners are kind of gunked up and they don't get every every video or every beep and boop, but sometimes they get a, a free movie and game thrown in there. Then I went over from uh, one charity shop to uh, Goodwill, which is a little more standard. I did not expect to find some PS3 games, which is great because I just got one. Uh, I found the uh, Assassin's Creed collection, the Ezio Trilogy. Uh, I might play through this a little bit. I do know that there's an HD version of some of these games, maybe all of them, so I might just hold off and flip them. But considering I just got a PS3, might as well just, you know, give them a go, make sure they work. I also found a copy of a game I didn't finish years ago, Final Fantasy X on PS2. Uh, I'm likely to keep this one and clean it up uh, just for my shelves. Um, I do have a PS2. I am going to get the HD a remake of the other ones so um if i do get that i will flip this so someone you know so it can find a good home uh let's see i also found portal 2 love portal 2 it's great for co-op what's up casey hey, what's up? how you doing man doing good you feeling better oh yeah um i only just now realized i didn't grab my prescriptions <laughs> yeah i just now i'm talking to you um i'm just doing a video on my hauls Let's see, and then let's see what else I got. I got this one, Nino Kuni, that uh, I've seen Hunter play on PC. It's the greatest hits edition for PS3. I think there's an HD remake, but um, again, I got to give them all a shot to make sure they work, even if I do flip them, so I'll definitely give this one a go. And let's see, these ones, I this was funny. So at the second shop I walked in, I walked past, past the guy, and when you do reselling, I usually do clothing, but every once in a while video games kind of pop into my purview. Um, you kind of can tell when someone else is doing the same thing. You can kind of tell when someone's like beelining it to something. And I walked in and this guy had a stack of games in front of him and a phone out. And he was like scrolling, looking, I assumed for prices, which is like what I do. It's totally fine. What he didn't realize is that there's actually a second spot where the games, I think, go in first. He was where the games kind of get pushed with the DVDs once they've been on the store shelf for a while. So that's where I found all these games right here. And I also found... Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 edition for PS3, uh, which I'm sure has been outdated by a, an HD version on PS4. And then I also found a copy of uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 for PlayStation 2, which is pretty serendipitous considering Kingdom Hearts 4 just got announced. And then um, the guy stood up, walked past me, and he was like immediately looking at my games. He's like craning his neck and, you know, checking out what I got, which is like, cool, dude, more power to you. Uh, check me out, too. Um, so, <laughs> so, uh, I, I heard him say something he was like, oh, you're going to play all those. And I was like, okay, the passive aggression has begun. Usually happens in the clothing industry. Like someone sees you looking through some good shit and they think you don't know what you have and they make some comment, you know, or it's not your size. It's like, yeah, I know I'm just going to sell it. Um, but I was like fine with it. I was like, no, man, I just found these stacks. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've been wanting to play these games and he's like, and he starts huffing and puffing, and it's because he wanted a copy of Kingdom Hearts 1, which was also there. So the clock at I got 1, 2, and 1.5. And he's like, man, that's a bummer. He's like, you're going to play that, right? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna absolutely play that. And he's like, okay, well, I mean, as long as you're going to play that, because, like, my mom gave me a copy, and I lost it years ago. And he's like, this is a sad story. And it's like, already I know you're, like, maybe lying, because 
I just saw you looking through your phone and it's $15 on eBay. But the good news is, after he did his little thing and whatever, I said, you know, if you know me, I'm kind of sarcastic with my responses. And <laughs> he said some more things and I'm like, well, I am going to play. And he's like, okay, that's okay then. And I was like, well, as long as it's cool with you, as long as it's okay with you that I make this purchase, now I can go home happy. I just do that to diffuse it, but obviously it builds some tension on the other end. So the guy walks around, he checks out some more games, potentially, and he grabs them off the shelves that work for him. And uh, I didn't really realize at first he was talking about getting Kingdom Hearts 1. I, I thought he was just one of these games in the stack that he was just kind of like, oh, I wish I had that one. By sheer coincidence, there was a second copy of Kingdom Hearts 1 under the stack of games that I was looking through. The disc was in great condition, box was a little messed up, and I was like, there you go, buddy. Enjoy. I, in, I, I enjoyed the story, so as payment, here's a game that I didn't even pay for at the register. He walked out with a stack of games, he seemed happy. I'm happy with my uh, yield. I'm definitely gonna flip a couple of these games, and then the rest I'm gonna just shove on my shelf and slowly work through them. Uh, thanks for listening to my rant a -lant. Probably gonna post this raw on YouTube because uh, I just don't feel like editing and have so much work to do. Um, everyone, be well and treat yourself.